Happy Columbus Day. Here are the stock picks for the upcoming four days of this week. Uh, let me start off by saying uh, I made a, a dime on Dish last week and on Baba. These were two that I saw coming and I got in with options and I got 70% ROI on Dish. So if I put in 100 bucks, I got 170 back. And Baba, I'm still holding on, but Baba, I actually introduced to you guys last week in my last week of stock picks, and I've made quite a bit on Baba as well. As you can see, in the past week, it is shut up just as I had predicted. Um, my stock option on Baba right now is about at 200% ROI. So uh, stock options are really the best way to grow quickly, and um, even though they might seem complicated, you can use them on any pretty much any trading uh, methodology. So here I'm teaching you basically my methodology of reading the indicators and sometimes gaps and once in a while fundamentals. Um, but you can use this with stocks and you can use it with options. But anyway, I know why you're here. So let's go ahead and look at the stock picks for the upcoming week. So we're going to start with Adobe. We all use Adobe, I assume, unless you're on a Mac. I don't know what they use there. Um, but, got this stupid VPN on. Alright, so, here's Adobe. Adobe's looking good. We got our green Arun line above the 70, our red Arun line up, uh, below the 30. It looks like it's coming down, but that's what happens when you get to the top. It, often does this kind of shuffling up and down. As long as they are far apart and as long as the green one's above 70, you've got a pretty good buying signal. Now Adobe trades in a higher range of numbers and um, it can fall and jump, but generally it's quite stable. So here we see a very large fall. It would have brought you a lot of money if you played a put option. Um, but importantly here is the fact that we have what looks to be at the first day on this volume day um, a breakaway gap. It looked like the stock was about to shoot downward and we we're going to have a repeat of this situation. That did not happen. That's why I always say don't play gaps the first day. Wait at least one or two days. And what we saw was after that day we had a, bear, a bullish engulfing candlestick which is when the white candlestick eats the previous red candlestick. And then the day after that, that confirmation, the confirmation of that pattern was seen with a um, white candlestick above. So what I'm thinking is going to happen is that this gap is going to close right here at 85. Um, so it's going to close a dollar above where we are. If you're playing just stock, you're going to have to put in a lot of money to make um, a decent amount of money um, on that gap closing. But if you're playing stock options, that's a quick 100 bucks profit per option. And options can be in many different prices. Um, then when you look at the stochastics, you see it, it looks like we might have been, because we've been going up for a while, we might have been in the overbought region. But that's not true. We're, we're pretty much in the middle. So nothing really important is happening there. So this is more of a pure gap play on a stock that we already have good buying signals for. It's got an upward momentum, as you can see. And finally, our price is above the 30-day, uh, the 20-day, sorry, moving average. It's been over the 30-day moving average for a while, which, which also is a buying signal. But I'm going to say, in the following few days, this gap is probably going to close. So if you want to play options, this is a good stock to play. If you want to play stock, this might be a good stock to hold on to for the long term. After all, it's Adobe. But it's probably going to be going up next week. So if you're a swing trader, this is one you're going to want to buy and then hold and then wait for that gap to close and then sell it back. The next is BRFS. Here we got the red of the rune line finally moving down below the 70 area. So what that means is we're leaving a point where we had a uh, low point and it looks like the momentum might not be going upward, but at least it's shifting away from the downward momentum. Um, I like to use the Arun lines as indicators for when to buy and when to sell, but it's also, you can also use it almost as a replacement for the MACD line, 
to know which way the momentum is probably heading. So I believe that in the recent couple weeks that downward momentum has phased out. Ever since we dropped down here, it's more or less phased out and we have confirmation of that. Um, what else? Uh, this is a Brazilian stock. I, I believe this is actually a position trade. I don't have a theme this week, um, but this is looking to be as yeah, this is a position trade where it's pretty much hit bottom. Um, you might say it's oversold, maybe not. But look at the pattern, the weekly pattern of this. You've got these long downward trends and long upward trends. It's very much like what you see in the futures market um, during a certain season. And I'm thinking we're at a bottom. We don't have a good candlestick pattern right now. We have a um, bearish harami, which typically is followed by some more down days. But what's important to note for this one as a position trade is that money is, well, this is, I always say, this is a really hard indicator to describe. But if you see it's moving sharply upward and now it's above zero, it typically means a lot more investors are becoming interested in this stock. And you can tell by the volume as well. And that volume, uh, sorry, that uh, money is coming into the stock. So even though it's at a low, it's probably really at a relative low. In other words, soon we're going to have some upward movement. And I think you can get in on this quite cheaply and it might even out to where it was uh, before, which makes it a good um, investment for playing stock. I wouldn't play options on this one unless they're really long-term options, but this is our uh, position trade of the week. Okay, let's move on to Target. By the way, I just wrote an article on Target and Seeking Alpha. Actually, you can't read it right now because it is um, embargoed for 24 hours, only paying members can read it, but uh, probably by the time you see this video, all you have to do is type Target Damon Varial, my name, and um, Seeking Alpha, the website, and you'll find an article I wrote on Target. I am bullish on Target, and I am just waiting for a good time to get in. I'm thinking next week is going to be a good good time to get in. You can see the same type of thing here. It looks like the markets are ready to rally on some stocks. People are putting money back into the stock market, whereas it was flowing out in the past. Um, but we've we reached like a plateau, at least a weekly plateau. You can see the range is actually quite high. You got a ten dollar range from seventy five to eighty five. Um, but that momentum has slowed down, and now people are a bit confused as to what to do with Target. Now I think Targets could be a good long term hold. I think it's going to stay where it's at and continue upward. Um, it's not going to fall down to wh where we just saw before. In addition, we had this buying signal a couple weeks ago with the Arun lines crossing, and it's quite clear that that momentum is, is shifting upward. You can see the blue line crossing above the red line, and the price of target stock is actually higher than both of these moving averages, which is a good buying signal. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this is more of a fundamental analysis. Uh, I'm not really doing technicals so much on this pick. I'm using the technicals to wait for a good entry point. And what I'm really looking for is either a down gap where I know I could buy at a low, or I'm looking for a, a nice candlestick pattern, which I haven't really seen in the past couple of weeks. This candlestick pattern right here is quite scary. Um, usually it's followed by a downward momentum. But we didn't see that, we saw it holding, so that gives me confidence that you know Target's probably at a strong support level. And I just want to see a candlestick pattern that's gonna show a quick upward movement. Kind of like this right here. Okay, if we can see that, I'll get in. But you should also consider getting in on Target as a long term buy. And if you have your own other trading strategies, just watch this over the next week to see if there might be a good time to get in. Next we're going to look at Harley Davidson. Hog, appropriately named. Um, and what we have here is, uh, we've got a deliberation candlestick. Let's look at the weeklies. This might be a good position for trade as well. But what we have is the deliberation candlestick where the price has shot up real quickly and people, investors, are confused as to whether that's going to hold or continue. And if it does continue, it might look something like this or something like this, and that would be great. 
Um, but what we're seeing right now is a deliberation, and it could turn into a evening star pattern, which is that scary pattern we just saw with Target. If you see that, if you see it on Tuesday, for example, you see a big red candlestick pattern going down, stay away. If you don't see that, if you see the uh, market opening at a price higher than 55.09, then we're pretty good. We're pretty much good to go on this one for a swing trade, and I would say this is just a swing trade at this point. Um, we do have the prices above the moving averages, which is a good sign. Um, the Arun lines are moving in tandem, which doesn't tell us much, and we're not oversold or anything like that. So hold on, see what happens on Tuesday. If on Tuesday we get a big white candlestick, that's a pretty good um, indication that the price will move upward. And also realize that we have a gap right here that has not closed. And statistically, that should be closing at some time in the next month or so. So your price target would be about 58 bucks, which is pretty good. So 55 to 58, you're making $3 per share. Uh, if you're making, if you're playing options, you're making $300 per option. About good position trade or good swing trade. Sorry, just uh, pay attention to what happens on Tuesday before you get in. The last one is DBB. DBB is an ETF on heavy metals. Did I say heavy metals? <laughs> it's some metals. Um, basically, if you want exposure to the metals industry which obviously has not been doing very well, this is one of your best bets, DBB, because it's diversified over all metals. And as you can see, we just had a huge spike in volume. And what you're going to want to do with this one is you're going to want to see whether this is a breakaway gap or an area gap. Typically, if you see some candlestick patterns after this that show bullish momentum, you got a breakaway gap, and it's probably going to be this stock is probably going to go up really quickly and allow you to make quite a bit of money. Now, if you've taken my gap game plan course, I have given you images in a folder that show you after an up gap, if it widens, these are the best candlestick patterns. So you'd be wanting to look for any of these after this day. So here's the most recent day. Um, you're going to be wanting to see any of these candlestick patterns afterwards, and if you do, it's a good sign to get in, and it's probably going to be a decent uh, swing trade. So watch for these. If that happens, there you go. You got a swing trade, and you probably got a good long-term position if you're bullish on the metals industry. So that's it. Those are the stock picks for this week. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below or send me an email.